Well, hello, y'all. Look, it's all the holidays that remain. And so I was watching Budget in April the other day, and she was kind of seeing what she bought, what she had left, and I had commented, I need to do that. And she was like, well, why don't you do it? <laughs> I was like, yeah, why don't I? So let's see what I've got to finish up the year so I can be setting, you know, I do not want to go in debt this Christmas. This will be my first Christmas that I have not put anything on the credit card. And when January rolls around, I don't feel, do y'all do that? Did y'all used to do that for y'all budgeted where I'd spend a lot of money and get everybody what they wanted and you'd watch them open it and you'd have that happiness. But then after Christmas, I don't want to call it bluesy, but it's kind of like, okay, Christmas is over. Did they really like it? And then the bills come in and then like, you just kind of feel a little down and you think, okay, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> and then you do it every year. So that was me before budgeting. So let's see how much we've got left and see what we can, you know, be working towards. I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. Okay, and I'm going to use my donut stickers because y'all know I'm on a donut kick right now. And I'm going to have to tell you the story behind that because, you know, every family has a special thing. Well, me and my sister have a donut thing, and I thought it might cheer her up with all she's been going through. So I'm, I've redone my whole theme to donuts right now. Y'all know I'll probably change again. And I did ask y'all what I should name. Um, I just had this one at that time, but you know, of course, Target had to put another $3 turkey out that I had to get. Okay, I had to do a voiceover because Veronica Matthews told me to name him Dinda, which is French word, and I mispronounced it. So haha, I went back with the magic of editing. And then... Um, my good friend over at Queen's Budget told me to name it Little Turk. So I've got both of these right here. And I thought, I'm so glad y'all named them for me. Okay, so they're going to go sit on the shelf. I'm going to get my Halloween donut and my spiders and all. And let's look at Halloween first because y'all, I thought Halloween was done. Nay, 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 nay. I got news from my husband and my son that their work is doing <laughs> team building Halloween things to build morale and support. And can y'all see my shirt? Look, it's got grass on it. Y'all can't see it, but it's a Halloween shirt and it's got the cutest dog dressed up. But I just wanted to tell y'all that, yeah, my sleeves are grass. Okay, so I thought I was done, but no, I'm not. So we're gonna go back and I have to get some more candy <laughs> and other things for their team building. So let's see, we're going to tricks and treats, baddies and goodies, okay? Now, even though I do like peppermints, I think that's a baddie for Halloween. And if you get this in your bucket, that means somebody has had it for nine to 10 months from Christmas and be very leery of eating it. So that's one baddie, one dollar. The second one, I do not like big lollipops, mainly because my children get bored with them and then they hand them to me and have since they were little and they still do it. Like, what am I supposed to do with this lollipop? It always gets in my hair somehow. So that's a baddie. Pixie sticks, that's just a plain choking hazard. My husband loves them. Every time he eats it, he chokes on it. So no, taffy. No, don't like that one either. Okay, here we come to the good stuff. Yes, goody. Yes, let's put a donut on that one. Yes. Anything with chocolate, y'all. Y'all can see, I don't like sour or fruity flavors. I like chocolate flavors. So that gets $6. And I'm gonna say toothbrush. Heck no, unless you're like, that's what traumatized Willy Wonk. <laughs> this nasty orange and black candy. No, nope, my husband loves them. Yucky, yucky. And I'll do one more baddie. I don't like these either. 
My husband loves them. We're polar opposites of candy. So that's a good thing because when we raid our kids' bucket <laughs> late at night, we don't fight over the same thing. So I'm going to continue to work on this. We now have... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve dollars. So I still don't have enough to buy another bag of candy, which I need desperately to do. I want my mummy. Yeah, let's let's throw us. How many is left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So not enough for a twenty. So we'll just do a five. One, two, three, four, five. Aren't these, these donut stickers so cute? I got them from Target too. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in the Halloween one. I almost got enough for a bag of candy. Candy is it's outrageous, it's outrageous. Okay, Haunted. I will give it some love and give it a dollar. And Spider Queen will get a dollar. I almost finished this one, y'all. Maybe next week, which will have to be the, the last. Oh, I don't. Okay. Can I break something? Yes, I can. One. Two, three, four, five. So I'll trade that in there with that one. And that way I can put one more dollar in Halloween. So, yeah, still got some more to do on that one, but I got some time. Maybe one more because the parties are not until the 30th. So I have a little bit more time to try to finish this one up. So, Halloween, you are almost done. One more week. One more week for you. Now, Thanksgiving, I'm only going to finish up this challenge because I have quite a bit of money. Okay, so I have $155, but I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is just keep stuffing this. I'm not sure if I'm hosting yet or not. It's a possibility, but I want to be ready. Okay. So I started with 155. I'm going to add 20. My phone was dying, so you're going to see it cut off. So I had to go back and voice edit over this one too. Again, magic. It's magic. So I'm now up to 175. So my goal is to get it to 260 because of inflation with food. I just don't know, y'all. So I need 85 more for Thanksgiving. Okay, I have always joked around my husband that before somebody was coming over, we had to clean up the house, and I called it, let's create the illusion of clean, because <laughs> we would throw stuff everywhere, and uh, in the closets, and whatever. So, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. So, I'm going to create the illusion <laughs> of filming, and we're going to, like, have a flashback. Like, you know, right now in movies, it's real popular to have a flashback. We're going to flashback to what happened. So, I want y'all to pretend you don't see that five. And this is my excitement of doing it. Ooh, it's only $5 because it could be 5 to 40 Ooh, I'm so blessed. It was only $5, so I get more money to stuff. And because I had already stuffed 20 20 I got to stuff 5 So, this is a good double check for me. And I owed myself $5 because I didn't have a five. So, see, look, an IOU. You see that D versus debt? IOU. This is from General Charm's Budget. I love it. Okay. The second thing I decided was to put $20 more in Max. I have bought Jaybirds. I have bought Buggies. I have not. I'm finishing up Mac now. I'm just trying to get the money he has not told me what he wanted because remember I told you he works now. So the magic of Christmas or the magic of getting gifts for Christmas has diminished because he can buy, you know, things he wants. So if you would have been here the first time, I said a lot of funny things. <laughs> I can't remember them now, but he had 200 and I colored four more boxes in beautiful red. Isn't that looking beautiful? 
and now he has $220. And I so thoroughly wrote down <laughs> on Max that he has $220 now, and I only have $30 left to finish Max. Okay, on stocking stuffers, I decided not to do anything because it's only my husband who does not have his stocking stuffers done, and I am not sure. I think I want to go back to the um, Five Below store, and I need $20 more to complete his stocking stuffers, but I decided not to do that, and y'all all agreed with me on the last video. <laughs> Black Friday, I was like, yes, we need to do something for Black Friday, so you'll notice I colored in the same color red another $20, which brought us up to $220, which left me with only $30 left to stuff, which you can see I was so great at filling $220 and $30 in. So, and I decided not to do Cyber Monday today because I wanted to start stuffing for the feast. And then I said some really nice things about there's always room at the table. <laughs> and of course they elude me now, but there is always room at the table. It doesn't have to be just at Christmas when we have that warm, giving, loving feeling. It can be all year long. If you see someone in need and you have enough, or even if you don't quite have enough, if you could share your plate or share whatever you have, I'm a firm believer in giving. I just... I have never, there has never been a time that I have gave something that I regretted it. So, I don't normally color this beautiful, and y'all missed that. So, psh, look, I colored it so beautiful. And this is a $1 challenge. Y'all know I love my $1 challenges. And so, in Feast, I put the remaining $4. I still owe five, which I will get, but I had $1 in there already, and I put four, so now I have five. I'm going to do this challenge twice, which will give me $165 for the feast. And we are going to feast and feast and feast on some roasted who beast. Okay, and y'all notice that, <clears throat> again, I started with $1, and I put $5 in there, so now I just need $160 left. So, I am complete. Oh, tree down, tree down. I am completing this, and the, I, look how I even used all these multiple colors. Y'all missed it. So, oh, an update on Top Hat, and I said some really good things about budgeting. Let me see if I can try to remember any of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Before budgeting, if you're a budgeter now, you're going to totally get what I'm saying. If you're thinking about budgeting, listen up close. In the past, if my husband wanted something or I wanted something sparkly, beautiful, impulsive, we pretty much plunked the credit card down and just bought it if we really wanted. And he really acted like he wanted this Apple Watch. And y'all know for like a month now, I've been stuffing for it. And he came to me two days ago and said, I looked at the Apple Watch. It doesn't do anything that I would use more than what the Fitbit, because I'm just not going to use the other things. So I've decided I do not want an Apple Watch. I want you to take the money and go buy me surprises. And I think part of it is my husband's a big kid. He, is, he loves Christmas more than anyone in this family. And he loves to have presents that he doesn't know about. So, he wants me to go out and buy him surprises. So, um, we've capped out each other's at 150 He has 142 I did not stuff him today, but he needs eight more dollars to complete his. I'm going to wait, maybe next week, stuff his stocking stuffer and stuff the $8, and then I'm going to go out. He loves shoes, colorful tennis shoes, and matching graphic tees, you know, funny little phrases. He works at a junior high, and even though he hasn't said this to me, I think it's because he wants to dress like the kids because it gives him more street cred. <laughs> then I showed y'all what happened in the feast, and then I completed my complete calculations because I didn't have any more money at that point to, to stuff the last envelope events. So, I need a total of $303 to finish Christmas. So, that's not too bad, y'all. I mean, with Halloween, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, let's get a grand total. So, did you guess right? Did you guess 414? 
Were you close? Because that's how much I need to fund all the remaining holidays. So, if you're not sure how much you need, why don't you go ahead and do it? Like Budget April told me to do. Because it really does take a load off your mind to know exactly how much you have left. And now I know I can make a plan for the rest of the year. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how peaceful it feels after all the unwrapping and the kids run away to the room and my husband goes to take a nap and I'm left sitting in the living room with the aftermath. I want to see how peaceful it feels. And I'd love you to feel that too. So if you could comment, like, and subscribe, you know it means the world to me. And I will see you in my next video where we talk about how my great budgeting experiment on digital budgeting is going. And you know I'm sending you all the love. Bye-bye.